Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna to be doing some more low carb, keto, and diabetic friendly drink combos. I know you all have seen my cabinet over here that is absolutely packed full of Jordan's Skinny Syrups. I use those for recipes in chia seed pudding, gummies, and lots and lots of different drinks. So today I wanna to show you a few more. If you are sick and tired of water, then I got you covered. If you're new here, make sure you go ahead and subscribe, check out some more of my other videos. I got lots going on from what I eat in a day, meal prep, grocery hauls, air fryer recipes, TikTok viral videos. Go check some of those out before you go. Follow me over on Instagram. I'll have my name at the bottom of the screen for you. And go check out the description box. You're gonna find the Facebook group and my TikTok. All you gotta do is click on those links and it will take you over to those accounts. So you're gonna be able to find additional content that's not available over here on YouTube. And while you're in the description box, check out some of the discount codes that I have so I can save you some money on your favorite keto items. Let's go ahead and get started with today's recipes. Starbucks has a new drink recipe every single day, it seems like. And the majority of those are not gonna be keto or diabetic friendly. Let's just make our own at home. This is the one you're gonna find on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube. The Sour Gummy Worm Drink. I do not plan on missing out on this. Now, even though I can't go through drive through and get the exact drink because of the ingredients, I had everything in my pantry to make it at home. Starbucks recipe, passion tea lemonade, peach juice, which is something I definitely can't have, and raspberry syrup to sweeten. For the passion tea, you've got two options. You've got the Tezo in the tea bags. It's gonna be the iced passion herbal tea. I bought these in bulk off of Amazon. If they still have them, I will link them down below, but I know some people can find these at Target. If you don't wanna use the tea bags and just brew your own, you can use the Tezo Unsweetened Iced Passion Tea. This is the concentrated version. I found this at Whole Foods. I don't feel like brewing any tea today, so I'm gonna be using the concentrated version I already had in the refrigerator. I added ice water to a cup, and now I'm gonna add in in the Tezo unsweetened iced passion tea to this, as little or as much as you want. Remember, it's concentrated, so it's gonna be strong. To convert the passion tea into a passion tea lemonade, obviously, I'm gonna need something lemon flavor. You could add some fresh lemon if you want, but that seems like a lot of work. If you all follow me, you know I have a ton of these liquid water enhancers because they are one of Chris's obsessions. Of course, I had a lemonade flavor on hand. This one is Mio. You can pick it up anywhere. Personally, I like the liquid flavor enhancers like this better than the packets because there's no sugar or maltodextrin. It is, of course, going to have sucralose, so if you don't like that, I completely understand. Skip this. Add some lemon. I'm going to add a few drops to my tea. The Starbucks version has peach juice. I've never even seen peach juice in my life. Where do you get something like that? Not around here. And can you imagine how much sugar is gonna be in peach juice? Here's a better alternative. The Jordan's Skinny Syrup Zero Calorie Zero Sugar Peach Syrup. It's gonna give it the peach flavor. Plus, it's also gonna help sweeten this, because remember, the Tezo tea was not pre-sweetened. The recipe, when I looked it up, had no measurements, so just add a splash or more. Last ingredient is gonna be raspberry syrup. Now, the raspberry syrup is used by Starbucks as the sweetener. Since ours is already pre-sweetened with the peach syrup and that little bit of Mio, then you're just gonna need a little bit of this. Unless you want it really sweet, then add as much as you want. Give it a quick mix. As the name suggests, sour gummy worm drink. If you want to kick this up a notch, like of course you know I do, you could add a few of the Lily's gummy worms. It's gonna make it fun and different. No sugar added in these. We recently did a video on the Lily's gummies. I'll link it, go check it out. They have two different flavored worms in here apple peach and lemon raspberry. I'm gonna add a few of the lemon raspberry. The entire package is gonna be a serving at 70 calories, 
42 total carbs for those of you that do total, 23 fiber, 2 erythritol, and it is going to be sweetened with allulose, so the carb count is going to come way down. I think the carb count on these was like 2 or 3 for the entire package. They are gluten-free and less than 1 gram of sugar, but I'm only going to use a few. Step, completely optional, but definitely fun. Cute summer drink in case you're looking for something different. And remember, you can turn any of these into an adult beverage if you want. This one, I really like it. I will be making it again. I was cleaning out my drink fridge the other day and I came across a ton of Sprite and 7-Up. No one in the house will drink that. We have it on hand just in case someone gets sick. Why is it that your moms and dads and grandparents always gave us Sprite and 7-Up when we're sick? Now that's all I can think about every single time I see Sprite or 7-Up. Then it hit me. Why don't I go ahead and mix some of the grape crush with it? or even the orange or pineapple and come up with a completely different flavor so that we will enjoy it and not waste it. I've talked about my love of grape flavoring on numerous occasions. I recently found a variety pack of the Crush Liquid Water Enhancers. They're from Amazon. If they're still available, I will link those in the description box for you. You get four different flavors. I think there was a strawberry, a pineapple, grape, and orange. I will admit, I have tried the pineapple and it is quite lovely because 7-Up and Sprite does have that lemon-lime citrus thing going. So they do pair well. It's that simple. I'm thrilled to be able to have a grape soda that's keto, low-carb, and diabetic friendly, and I don't have to hunt everywhere for it. It's so hard to find diet grape. You have to try your liquid drink enhancers with Sprite and 7-Up. Game changer. I saved the best drink and my favorite for last, strawberry key lime pie. I can honestly say that I never thought in a million years these words would come out of my mouth. My favorite drink right now contains LaCroix. I have discussed my disdain for LaCroix in multiple videos on TikTok, Instagram, pretty much everywhere because to me, it doesn't taste good. It has a good flavor, but it doesn't have the sweetness that I need. So recently, I have been playing around with the LaCroix and adding different flavorings, liquid water enhancers, and other ingredients. I adore anything key lime flavor, so when I I saw this one at the store. I picked it up and I even showed it in a grocery haul. I had never noticed this before, but on the bottom of the LaCroix, it says zero calorie, zero sweetener, zero sodium equals innocent. What? LaCroix, come on. Stop acting like you're bougie and you're better than everybody else. You taste like when my foot falls asleep, but I'm gonna make you taste better. So let me show you the drink that I'm having every single day right now. I'm gonna be using Kerrigan's Massive Mason Jar Glass. I think this came off of Amazon. She got it for Christmas. They have the lid, they have the big metal straw. Again, these are huge. I'm gonna go ahead and pour the entire can of Key Lime LaCroix over us. I'm going to add some of the Jordan's Skinny Syrups. These are sugar-free, zero calorie, and I'm going to be using strawberry. This is probably the number one question I get asked all the time. There's the ingredients. Feel free to pause it. You can get these at places like Ross's, TJ Maxx, Home Goods, Burks, if you have one in your area. And you can order them off of Amazon. You can get them from the website. And a lot of the times they have a sale and bundle packages. No measurements. This is one of those things where you just put in as much or as little as you want, depending on how sweet you want your LaCroix and how much you love strawberry. Uh, I feel like I need just a dash more. I recommend giving this a stir and then taste it to make sure it still doesn't taste like TV static. You want it to have that sweetness. You don't want it to just taste bleh. So right now we have a strawberry key lime drink, but we want this to be a strawberry key lime pie. So I'm going to add a splash of heavy whipping cream. Not too much. It's just going to be enough to pretty much 
tint this a nice and creamy pink color. Give it a stir again. Normally, I top this with a ton of the Great Value sugar-free whipped topping, but I used the last of it yesterday, and my Walmart has been out now for about two weeks, so crossing my fingers, I'll find it again soon. I saved the best for last. You have to try this one if you can find the Key Lime LaCroix. I have a lot of people ask, does it work with Sprite? Does it work with 7-Up? It might because... They do have that lemon lime, but the LaCroix has something just a little extra. I guess it's that key lime flavor. If you try it, do you love this as much as I do? Let me know in the comments also, what other flavor do you think would be good? Do you have a favorite drink combo I need to try? Or maybe even add it into the next video. I'll see you next time. Bye.